Details have surfaced of an amazing $25 million lawsuit against Johnny Manziel in which a woman alleges, among other things, that he sent her a picture of his penis in a hot dog bun on Christmas Eve in 2013. It looks like we've figured out that this is the work of a serial lawsuit filer, Jonathan Lee Riches. We're gonna just give a quick dramatic reading to this lawsuit. I am filing a restraining order against Johnny Manziel, who was the quarterback for Texas A&M University football team. Defendant Manziel has been sexually harassing me since Valentine's Day 2013, calling me non-stop on my Samsung phone uh, and sending me naked selfies of himself, showing me his penis. Uh, this is clearly sexual harassment. I seek $25 million in punitive damages for emotional distress. Okay, it gets better. But I think we all now know that this is just like a viral ad for Samsung. <laughs> just like that famous selfie. Uh, on Christmas Eve 2013, Johnny Manziel sent an Instagram photo of himself naked to me Facebook with Manziel putting a hot dog bun between his penis. <laughs> that sounds hard. Uh, smiling, calling me ho, ho, ho. Then called me up on my Samsung phone, I assume, uh, and told me he wanted a threesome with Dr. Drew. Who doesn't? Uh, during last year's Nathan hot dog eating contest, Defendant Manziel sent me a naked photo of him with a ruler next to his erect penis that measured four and a half inches while holding up a sign, you know you want me, Samantha. <laughs> that is disgusting, and Manziel humiliated me. <laughs> Defendant keeps asking me to strip for him at his boy LeBron James's crip in Miami. Not to be confused with LeBron James's blood in Miami. Johnny Manziel also told me he does steroids and lifts weights. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, and if uh, another man ever talks to me, he would beat them up and get away with it because he's famous. <laughs> Affluence can buy you freedom. That's just a little side note. Affluence can buy you freedom. <laughs> Write that down. Manziel called me up drunk Halloween of 2013 and confessed to me he cheated on his college exams. <laughs> no way, a football player. Manziel told me if I don't want him because his penis is small, when he gets drafted by the NFL, he will get a penis enlargement, and he'll be my Long John Silvers. <laughs> Manziel would Skype me before Texas A&M football games in 2013, smoking marijuana in college locker rooms. Johnny Manziel told me Texas A&M provides him with lavish gifts, circumventing NCAA rules. <laughs> Whoa! Circumventing? We've gone from small penises inside of hot dog buns to circumventing NCAA. Okay. Uh, where he said, if I will be his girlfriend, he will buy me Victoria's Secret lingerie and Adam and Eve's sex toys with secret money Kevin Sumlin provides him. Johnny Manziel told me he wants me to be his Linda Lovelace on Deep Throat. Johnny Manziel refers to his penis as his Vienna sausage <laughs> and told me good things come from small packages. Johnny Manziel says he skies with Jadurian Clowney in South Carolina and Clowney sent Manziel a capitalized pick of his penis which was nine inches. Whoa. And Manziel showed it to me on Skype because you can do that. You can just take something from Skype and then re-Skype another Internet, that's how it works. Uh, showed it to me on Skype and asked me if I could handle that monster. <coughs> I asked Manziel to stop calling me, but he won't stop. I have nightmares of Manziel. He needs, capitalized, sex therapy. Seeing Manziel with his small penis caused me psychological, emotional distress. I had to see a psychologist, because I have nightmares of Manziel's penis. You can sue for that? Good to know. I owed some money. I feel he is showing other girls against their consent his package. Manziel keeps prank calling me with some 1990s song, Don't Want No Short Man, Eeny Weeny Little Shrivel Short Short Man, which is disgusting. I love that song. I think that was on Now 16? <laughs> or was it Jog Jams 3? 
Manziel told me he embraces the fact that he has a small penis, clearly, and Manziel said to me on the phone he watched kinky fetish small penis porn on RedTube after Texas A&M football games. Ah, I don't want to hear his crap. Juvenile behavior. Now, juvenile is capitalized, which makes me think that rapper juvenile is also somehow involved here. <laughs> Has to be. Uh, where are we? Manziel told me he wouldn't mind showing with Jason Collins. <laughs> I think he meant showering. Um, actually, I don't think he meant anything. I think this crazy person meant to write showering. Uh, that's so small, I keep losing it. Uh, sounds like I'm talking about Johnny's penis. Actually, talking about the type on the lawsuit. Um, I have all the photos, videos, Skypes of Manziel with his penis obsession to submit to this court as evidence. Manziel sent me a homemade video of himself at Walt Disney World on the It's a Small World ride in the Magic Kingdom. And while the song is on, he puts the camera down, unbuttons his pants, pulls his penis out, and jingles his penis to the music. <laughs> he doesn't jiggle it, he jingles it which leads me to believe there are small bells attached to Johnny Manziel's already small penis. Um, ESPN owns Disney, and ESPN promotes Manziel, knowing he did this in It's a Small World. <laughs> I was up until then thinking the entire lawsuit was bullshit, but you're absolutely right. Down with ESPN and down with Johnny Manziel's small penis. <laughs>